And I'm here with Pastor Robbie Simons. Now, Robbie, today we're talking about something that I think is really relevant to today. Because, you know, you think about society always looking at our outward appearance. You're reminding us that God looks at our heart. Yeah, I mean, we both know this is a massive topic for our day today. And it's such a good week to tune into because the verse is going to guide us. We're going to look at the life of David when he was chosen, right? So David has, you know, seven brothers. He's the eighth. He's, he's the youngest. God is looking for a man after his own heart. And the key verse found in verse seven, it says this. It says, the Lord does not see as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Now, if you really understand what's being said right there, that's, that's summarizing all of our lives in Jesus Christ. We're living in a society that is obsessed, really filled with idolatry over physical appearance. My heart breaks for how many young men and women and men and women in general who rise and fall as they are you know, perceiving how they're determined by others, right? So what a key week to say, God's not so concerned about clothing and hair and even identity on the outside, but he's very concerned with your heart. And the irony of this is it took literally a village to, to dress us up yeah, today. No, right? That's right. Yes. <laughs> and, and we do look at our appearance to, you know, be with you on television every single day. But a, a great reminder that it really is what's in our heart. It's how we respond to people. It's how we react to people. That's what God is looking at. Yeah. I mean, amazingly true and all over scripture as well, right? So just my heart just goes out so much, let's say for the young woman who's out there, and 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 she again, she's just finding her identity and what her peers say about her. Like all the messages, probably hundreds every day, the messages of you are based on the color lipstick you wear, the clothes you have, whatever it is, the way your body is. is just like, imagine for the young woman, imagine for any man or woman to break through all of that garbage mm -hmm. And to understand my total value and identity is rooted 100% in Jesus Christ. And if the Lord Jesus Christ looks at me and says, I love you, my favor is upon you, not based on what you've done, based on the heart I've given you in myself. And that is when there's a true breakthrough uh, in life. It's hard, but it is possible. And you talked about young girls, and I'm going to ask you a question. You have daughters. Yes. What, how do you speak to them? How do you remind them that it's not about their outward appearance, but it is about their heart? Yeah, thanks for asking that. You know, so my daughter's right now eight and six, and uh, I would say to them on a, on a frequent basis, I think they're beautiful externally. They're, they're precious and cute, but I say, hey, da daddy thinks you're beautiful, but what does daddy think's most beautiful about you? And they're like, my heart, dad, you know, my our heart. They do that kind yeah, of stuff, yeah. right? And so I'm trying to get in their heart and minds from the very beginning that the Lord cares so much about this. I mean, what does 1 Peter 3 say, right? What's the true beauty that God is precious in God's sight? It's the gentle and quiet spirit that is found specifically within ladies as well. That is an awesome verse. Really, the New Testament equivalent to 1 Samuel 16, 7. And I know throughout the week you're going to give us practical tips, but, you know, people watching today, what's something practical you can do to really check your heart to make sure that it is in the right place? Yeah, well, I think it's, I guess, taking an, an examination of what do you value? Where is your time going? Again, what causes you to feel better about yourself or not feel good about yourself? Are you looking to the approval of others to ultimately define? How much, how much time, money, energy are we spending into that which ultimately is just going to, you know, get old and and look worse, right? You know what I'm saying? So then you start to say, is my heart really after what God's heart is after? I think about this stuff probably several times a day, you know, because I think it's that integral to a life lived powerfully in Christ. Oh, that's a good word. Thank you so much, Pastor Robbie. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.